hey welcome back so today i thought i would show how to put in an ng tube because i know a lot of people are um, are told they can set their own but then either are taught how and are still unsure or just not taught how at all because my doctor was like yeah you can put yours in yourself and then it didn't teach me how to do it so i was like um what so then i had to go to youtube to learn so i thought i'd put my own video on youtube to teach y'all how to do it to show you how i like to do it um, and share just a couple tips and tricks that I like to maybe help someone out. Okay, so you're gonna start out getting a new tube. Um, if you're using um, a tube you've already had, make sure you have your guide wire because you can do it without a guide wire, but it just makes it easier to have one. If you don't know what that is, that's this little wire that's right here. It just keeps the line kind of taut while you're trying to do it. Next, if you don't know your measurement already, how you're gonna get that is take the end. I would honestly have your doctor do it for you, but if you don't, this is how they're gonna measure it. You put the end on your nose and you're gonna pull it back behind your ear. And you're gonna pull it down to right, um, like about here. You can see my number is about 55. Most people that I've seen, theirs is somewhere between 50 and 60. So if you're somewhere between that range, you're probably right. Welcome my friend Shada. Anyways, so it wasn't that messy? So I went down there, she was just on the couch. All right. And you're going to start, some people do it without lube. That, I don't understand how you do it without it. Do not. Do not. <laughs> if <you're, laughs> Stop. If your doctor doesn't give you any, you can go get some from your local pharmacy. It's like really cheap. And make just make sure it's water-based. It's fine. Um, anyways. And so then pick which side you want to do it on. I personally prefer the left side because my stomach's on the left side. So in my brain, it makes more sense. But just whatever side you prefer to do, get it on it. And so I learned this trick on YouTube. So what I like to do is I start by going kind of up to get it under that little part. And then you flip straight and you're going to push it back. And there is a narrowing in the back of your nose and it feels like it's not going to go through but it will just kind of push it and also uh, some people say everybody has different positions that they prefer I just prefer to sit straight up and people lean back I know one girl on YouTube that I learned from she said she likes to pull right here and it works so just whatever works for you but swallowing the whole time does help a lot so right now if you can't see that It's back in the back of my throat. So once you get, that is gonna be the hardest part. And when you're first learning, um, I'd say that whenever, like that's the hardest thing to learn is to get it past there. But I think the more you do it, the easier it gets. Anyway, and so you wanna keep on swallowing because whenever you're swallowing, when you keep on doing it, it makes sure that goes down your throat. Some people swallow water with theirs. For me, that doesn't help because like, my body just doesn't like swallowing water for some reason. And so then, and I know a lot of people are worried about aspirating, which is where the tube goes into your lung. I promise you are going to feel it. You are going to know. Like, you don't need to be scared that you're going to do that and suffocate. Like, you, for real, are going to know if it's in there. Yeah, one time a nurse did it to me. Like, recently, actually. Oh, my word. I know. Most people, if you have this kind of tube, yours is probably going to be pink if it's an NG. For some reason, my people, they send me NJs, so mine are just really long. But anyway, so you're going to want to keep watching out for your number because you can see, like, they'll come up. And so you're just going to put your number right there in your nose, and so mine is there. And I know I make it look really easy, but I promise, like, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Because the first time I saw someone do it, I was like, um, I cannot do it that easy. Anyway, so once you... Got it. You're gonna pull out your wire, which why is this? Sometimes this is hard. There it goes. Okay. And then to check placement, also always close this one first. So there's a couple ways that you can check placement. So I'm gonna show you all the different ways. First, you can take some air in it and just push it through. And then a lot of times you can feel it in your stomach. And then usually that'll help you tell. If you can't tell, then you can pull back. And then if it's going to work. Sometimes it doesn't work. 
one. Mm. Sometimes you can pull it back to get like stomach contents and they'll give you pH strips to test it. And then your stomach should be about a four or a five or so. Anyway, and then if that doesn't work the way I like to, huh, I got that stuck. Fresh tubes always get stuck. These are like so much tighter than they used to be. They changed the way they made these. Anyway, the way I like to do it, which you should be able to do with the other two ways. And like I said, you're going to be able to feel if it's in your lung. Very slowly push water. And you'll be able to tell. But like I said, very, very slowly. And also, all, like obviously the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. And then I can feel that in my stomach. Some people can't say they can't feel in their stomach. I can. But those are just a couple of different ways you can do it. If you're at the hospital, they're probably going to, like, do an x-ray to check. But you really don't need all that. Anyway, so now after you get that done, I always check my number again to make sure it didn't move too much. If it does, it doesn't matter to a whole lot. Just push it back into place. And then you're going to get your tape. This is the tape I'm using today. And you're just going to cut your tape. I normally would have my tape cut before, but I completely forgot to get my scissors. That was such a small piece of tape, but whatever. I'll probably end up having to change it later than more. Anyways, so there's also several different ways you can tape it. If y'all want a video on different ways that I tape my, tape my tube, I will be more than happy to make y'all one of those. This tape is from Tubi Cheeks, um, and it's just Hypofix that's printed on, and it actually works really well. Like, for such a small piece of tape, it holds super well. Also, in case you're wondering, this is, a, like, NJ 12 French, so most of them are going to be pretty much like this. I have some people say that these are harder to get because they're technically pediatric tubes, but you can definitely get them as an adult. Anyway, and then I just take all this and I throw it away, but I always keep my guide wires and I put them in my backpack, or I'm going to put them in this bag that has just different tube accessories and stuff. But so yeah, I hope that video was helpful. I'll probably make another one eventually. But so comment any questions you have and I will be more than happy to answer them. Sometimes it does take me a long time to answer my YouTube comments because um, I never check them because I forget I have a YouTube channel half the time because, you know, that's just how life is. But so yeah, I hope that was helpful. Y'all also, y'all are always more than welcome to DM me on Instagram with any questions. So, bye!